Hi, I'm Jan Ozer. Most broadcast quality productions involve an expensive studio, multiple cameras, and multiple camera operators to provide lots of pans and zooms. You can spend a fortune on all that, or you can get the same look for thousands less with the TriCaster Mini. In this tutorial, which was sponsored by VideoGuys.com, I'll show you how. Let's start with a brief look at the new TriCaster Mini. This video is from another mini tutorial you can watch on StreamingMedia.com. The Mini is an extremely compact unit with four HDMI inputs and two outputs. In addition to the audio coming in with the HDMI, there's also a quarter-inch microphone mono input and left and right quarter-inch inputs. There are two HDMI outputs here, plus a quarter-inch headphone jack and left and right quarter-inch audio outputs. On the other side of the unit are your monitor outputs, plus display ports for two additional screens or projectors. Here are the USB ports for getting content into the unit, and an Ethernet port, though this unit also has Wi-Fi. The Mini comes in two models, the HD4i, which includes the 7-inch LCD output monitor and 1.5 terabytes of storage, and the HD4 base configuration, with no monitor and 750 gigabytes of internal storage. The rest of that tutorial focuses on software operation. Here we'll look at how to choose and use virtual sets with the TriCaster Mini. The Mini uses the same interface as more expensive TriCaster models. Here are the inputs. Here's the preview window. And here's the program window, which shows what's live at the moment. There are buttons for all inputs, including these four mix effect buttons, which is where we'll create the virtual set. I'll work in mix effect 1. I'll be compositing input from camera 1 here over a virtual set that I choose here. The set has room for one additional video within the projection screen, which I'll choose here. Here's my office where I'm actually shooting. This is a $30 green screen cloth. I've got two inexpensive lights on the background because it's tough to pull a clean key without them. I've got one key light on the subject. Let's reset the video and start from scratch. Looking at the green screen input here, you can see it needs some work. Let's adjust the incoming video first. I'm going to darken it a bit. Now let's apply the key. I click the eyedropper and touch the green screen. Now let's trim off the edges. I'll do that down here. First I'll trim the left side then the right, and then the top. The key's looking pretty solid now, so let's adjust positioning. These controls adjust horizontal and vertical position. These adjust rotation, and these let me resize the image. If you want some help with positioning, you can use these guides. I'm going to shift over a bit and raise the image and make the image a bit larger. Now let's reload the set. And make some final adjustments within the set itself. During the show, I can animate the camera view with these controls. Maybe start out here for a far back view. Zoom into the two shot to start the video. And zoom in here for a serious look. If I want to make it look like I have multiple cameras, I can just change this to a cut transition. I can also customize the endpoint of the animations via this control. This lets me totally customize the animations for the components in the video. If you have additional cameras, most virtual sets come with left and right views, so you can match the cameras placed on the side within the virtual set. All this makes it simple to make it look like you have an expensive set, with multiple cameras and multiple camera operators. 
The Mini comes with multiple virtual set collections, which you can see here. You can buy additional virtual sets here. And if you want to edit your sets, you can buy the NewTek Virtual Set Editor. With the set editor, you can make simple adjustments to existing sets, like changing colors, removing production elements, adding logos, and swapping out background images. You can even insert video into the background. You can choose which video elements to add to a set and where to place them, and how to animate the camera motion. You can create your own sets in Photoshop or any program that can output layered PSD files. Or you can work with libraries of professionally created virtual sets. Of course, in addition to this virtual set capability, the TriCaster Mini can record ISO streams, stream your videos live, and output to projection systems. What Mini does best, though, is make it look like you spent a fortune on your production while costing a fraction of what you'd spend if you built out a studio, bought multiple cameras, and hired operators to use them for each and every production. For more information about the TriCaster Mini, contact this video sponsor, VideoGuys.com, at 1-800-323-2325. I'm Jan Ezer. Thanks for watching. VideoGuys.com is your source for streaming media and live production equipment, storage, and video editing hardware and software. We have specialized in video editing and production for more than 25 years, and our technicians are available to answer your questions and help you find the best solution for your needs and budget.